welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got baseball coming up for Jackie Robinson Day. It's the Minnesota Twins taking on the Baltimore Orioles. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Chris, today a special day on the Major League Baseball calendar, Jackie Robinson Day. Everyone on the field wearing number 42 to honor Jackie and his breaking of the professional baseball color barrier in 1947 with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Well, Boog, it's a great day for everyone in terms of just the unity that it helped to bring forth within our country, and a lot of times that's done through sport. But for me, as a black player, when I think about Jackie Robinson and I think about the connection of such a great player and all of the adversity that he had to endure, baseball's hard enough just to play, but then everything sort of on the field, off the field, and how he persevered through that's so inspiring. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set, and on the hill, the big righty, Grayson Rodriguez. Well, he's not a rookie, but still very young in this game, learning his craft. I think the key is getting consistent reps and the opportunity to develop his stuff. Looking forward to watching him pitch in this one. Ready to go now. Now it's the second the baseman, Edouard Julien. Edward Julien. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Ball one there. First pitch, 635. Off the plate in. inside, and now 2-0. Oh. Yeah, that's too high. It's just the third pitch of the night, and already a little question on the strike zone of the umpire in this one. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And he walked him. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. And here comes Carlos Correa. Late on that fastball. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. And the right-hander deals. Swings over the top of that one. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Fights it off, he'll see another. The pitch. Ball one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Runner at first with no outs here. And there's a the ball. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. The pitch. Grounded to third. Could be two. To second, there's That's one. Out. Out of Mount Castle. It's a double play. As a former player, watching 5 4 3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Here's Alex Kirilov. That's and the first ball. pitch misses for ball one. Two down, nobody on. That's the slider in there for a strike. hit and that gives Byron Buxton a chance to hit with two out cool. there's Byron Buxton he oh, has yeah. as they like to say let me guess boo light tower power that's right 
Pitch misses inside, inside and it's one and oh. Righty delivers. Swings through that. I got a ball, one strike. The one one is fouled off. Two outs. Down the line. Santander racing after it. And he can't make the play. And another ball. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And that one missing low. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Goes down looking. One left for Minnesota. And now the O's will get their first crack at it. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here in Baltimore and towing the slab, Pablo Lopez. Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes this stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time, high leg kick, and by the time the hitter sees it, it's right on top of him. Here's the shortstop at the play, Gunnar Henderson. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Way high with that one. And that's ball one. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. And Pablo Lopez will deliver. Strike two. One ball, two straight. The wide, the kick, and the one two. Won't well, chase that time. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Makes the catch for the out. One down. All right, let's take a look at the Orioles lineup now. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting the line drives. You know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and an outfielder is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. Bounce to the right side. Rutschman retired. That is third. The right fielder. Anthony Santander at the plate. First oh, pitch, and he great. just misses. That That's one missed. Too. And misses That's inside. inside. And that's ball four. Trying to work his way back into the count right there, but so much for that. Pretty good pitch, but just doesn't get the call on 3-0. So a man aboard at the play. Ryan O'Hearn in there at the knees. And that is strike one. And the righty deals. 
And that's off the inside edge. And the count is one and one. Good eye right there. And the pitch. Bounced up the middle. Correa whips it to first. And that is the inning. One left for the Orioles. Scoreless after one. Welcome back to the ballpark here on Jackie Robinson Day. Second inning set to go. Here's the veteran outfielder, Manuel Margot. Rodriguez back to work. You know, Sonny, when you think about every player wearing number 42 on Jackie Robinson Day, you can thank Ken Griffey Jr. for all of it. Griffey was the first player to come up with the idea of wearing number 42 back on April 15th in 1997, the 50th anniversary of Robinson's Major League debut. And that's a bunt single that was placed perfectly. He saw the infield playing deep enough to drop down that bunt, and it paid off for him. Nice execution. He put that ball down the third baseline where he knew it would be a tough play. Took advantage right there. Very smart move. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Austin Martin. Rodriguez checks the runner. Margot gets back easily. That was also the day that Bud Selig retired his number. And Griffey, who was playing for the Mariners at the time, runner on the goal. This one in the air center field. Balls it in, and there's one away. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. With the go ahead run at first, here at the top of the second. That one in triple digits. Ed Drummond behind the plate calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, even fans, they're all going to appreciate you. Ed Drummond, he's that kind of umpire. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Over to first and he saved. Pitch. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Margot over at first with one away. And the pitch. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Not in time. He's safe. Well, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Two on, one out. So up next for Minnesota, Christian Vasquez. Right through there for a strike. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Two on, one out. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Kicks and fires. 
And that one fouled off. You could see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. That misses the zone. The count now two and two. No score here in the second. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Oh, that was such a great opportunity to grab the lead. You have the infield back. All you've got to do is just put the ball in play on the ground, and you drive across a run. It's a frustrating outcome for the hitter. Now, I'll still have a chance, but it's probably going to take a clutch hit with two outs. Looking for his first big league hit right here. Oh, that's out. Just missed. With the runner at third, this is who they want at the plate. He's so good at getting a run across in these situations. Corners are occupied with two down. Close one doesn't get the call. No, no. And that's ball two. Just missing off the plate there, according to the umpire. And out there on the mound, maybe trying to get an explanation. Can't say he's convinced, but it looks like he's accepted it. Kicks and deals. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Don't think you want to throw him that pitch again. He hammered it. Next time, he'll make it fair. Two on, two outs. Way out front for strike two. two, two strike. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Huge strike out there. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Back now at Oriole Park, here's Ryan Mountcastle. The first baseman, Ryan. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Hey. And that drops in for a strike. Lopez in his sixth season, 28 years old. And he was born in Venezuela. Out to short. It's in and out of his glove. Safe at first, no play. We'll see how they score this. That is good. Good. So digging in, Cedric Mullins. Pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Go ahead, run at first. Nobody out. Bottom half of inning number two. Left-hand batter waits. Not even close there. And a count one and two. Swing and a miss struck him out. That is that. So next to hit for Baltimore, Colton Kowser. And takes low for ball one. Man at first one away. That clips the corner. Next one is off the play. Two and one. And here it comes. Not close with that one. 
Now three and one. Jordan Westberg to bat next. Righty to the plate. Hammered. And this one could be extra bases. And that's going to get into the corner. Headed for the plate. The relay throw. And he's out. A lot of real estate to cover on that play defensively. A long throw to the cutoff man, and then a lot of ground to make up as well on the relay. But an excellent job of execution and getting that out of the dish as he tried to make it home all the way from first base. Jordan Westberg, the next to hit for the Orioles. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Two outs and one in scoring position. Pitch nope. misses there, and the count even one and one. On the corner for a strike. Well, he left that change up up. Got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. In the dirt. Tag safe. He's in the third of the wild pitch. Yeah, that right there can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it because you're already in scoring position. Well, he was sure there, and now he's only 90 feet away from scoring. At the belt, he fires. That okay. one just misses. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Jackson Holiday waits on deck. Outside, and that is ball four. Took to a board in two outs, scoreless game. Jackson Holiday will hit next. Trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. And there's a base hit to left. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Jackson Holiday with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup. Gunnar Henderson now at the plate. Fly to left his first time. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Two outs. Late with the swing there. All you got to do is concentrate and execute this next pitch. Get yourself out of the jam, back into the dugout. That one at 95 missed up top. One and two to count. Very dominant with that fastball inside. The hitter's going to be conscious of that. Now you have the outer half of the plate to work with out there on the mound. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Westberg over at second. Holiday at first, two out of the inning. Picks and misses. It's a strikeout. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a one nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Top half of the third inning. Here's the second baseman, Edouard Julien. Edward Julien. Rodriguez back to work. Sliced hard, but foul. Yeah. 
right through there for a strike. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Here's Carlos Correa. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Looking to get the tying run on base. That's Good eye in that spot. Got the back going too soon and strike two. Clearly is sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. you got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. And here is Alex Kirilov. Oh and the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. The 1 0. And ball another two. ball. Two balls, no strikes. Trying to hold a one run lead. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That one's spoiled, and the count now 2 and 1. The wind and the pitch. And that one. Wrapped foul. The wind of the pitch. He goes down looking. Down go the Twins in order. And it remains 1-0. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's Adley Rutschman. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. Good at framing. But it's that big arm that really stands out. And it's into the gap. Makes the turn and heads for second. And one pitch into the inning. It's a leadoff double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So, man aboard. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Anthony Santander. Check swing, went around, strike one. Man at second. And that's outside. And a swing and a miss there. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. One and two now. And there's a the ball. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Runner in scoring position. Nobody out here in the last half of the third. Gets a piece and stays alive. Battling here as he fouls it away. The 2 2. That's towards center. Correa sizes this one up. He's. And there's one down. 
Now that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Ryan O'Hearn comes up to him. Grounded out his first time up. Just nope, missed. Counts one and oh. On the ground that's right ball. side. And that's just foul. That one drifts inside. Rutschman, the runner at second with one away. the ground slings the first and yeah, there's two away good fade and sinking action of that changeup got that hitter to roll over and here's the first baseman Ryan Mountcastle fly ball to right flashes the leather on the running catch and that will end the inning. And the Orioles leave one. But they hold a 1-0 lead. And we're back. Now it's the DH. Byron Buxton. And he deals. And fouled off. Now the 01. Tied him up inside with that one. Quickly in an 0 2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. That one misses in the dirt. ripped and this one could be extra bases around first digging for two here's the throw and the tying runs at second base with a double anytime you rip a line drive the other way you feel really good about what you did at the plate you trusted your hands you let the ball travel and you took the ball straight to it that's great work right there a chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game here's Manuel Margot hey. swing and a miss as a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. With the go-ahead run at the plate, top half of inning number four. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And there's one down. the center fielder Austin Martin he's over one this is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation yeah Boog. not sure what the numbers say but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically out in front and foul to the left side So the tying run at second. One and, one. and a curve misses outside. Rodriguez picks over. Okay. Buxton back in there. The pitch. On the ground right side. And he takes oh. it himself for the out. Oh, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. 
And now for the Twins, Carlos Santana. One for one with a single so far. That's through there for a strike. Not many hitters go up there looking for an 0-0 breaking ball, but a good way for the pitcher to get ahead in the count. Two outs. That one misses one. the zone. And one and one. Clearly didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. In the dirt, blocked. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Hammered on the line. Base hit. Runner from third in to score. We're tied at one. To second. Pulls him off the bag. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. And now it's Christian Vasquez. Caught looking his first time up. Ground ball to the right side. Dives and kicks it on the infield. It's there, and that's a great play. Making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. He'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go. Bottom four. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Here the right hater back to work. That one inside. Ball one. And another ball. That one misses. And that's ball three. Colton Kowser hitting on deck circle. The line to kick the pitch. And that's too high. Ball four. That was Cam Far right there. Four pitch walk and. Guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Making a move at first. Entering is the pinch runner, Jorge Mateo. And into the box for Baltimore, Colton Kowser. One for one with a double and a run score. Now moves to first. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. And that's through there for a strike. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Next offering misses down and away. Way to lay off that pitch down. Right-hander kicks deals. To the right side. Throw on to Santana. Awesome play there. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job was to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. And there's a strike. No ball, two strikes. And a pitch. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Martin has it sized up. And there's two down. Now that the second baseman. Next for the Orioles, Jackson Holiday. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Slice the other way and foul. Runner at second, two down.
right through there for a strike. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. And on second, two down. And ball one. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. In the air, out towards right center. Martin sizing this one up. Drops into the glove. That is the inning. One left for the Orioles. Score remains deadlocked at one. Now into the ball game on defense, Jorge Mateo. He'll be patrolling center field. So up next, Kyle Farmer. The third baseman, Kyle Farmer. And a pitch. Right through there for a strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. And now the count is even. Wouldn't chase that time. The wind of the pitch. Now this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Next offering is down low. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there in the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Here comes a pitch. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Squeezes it. And there's one away. Now it's the second baseman, Edouard Julien. And that one almost got him. Chop back up the middle. Henderson tosses the first. And now two gone. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. Now Correa up to hit. Hey. That one finds the zone. And it's 0-1. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. A little out front there as he swings through it. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just going to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. And the right hater deals. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Mateo has a beat on it. Makes the catch in and over. here in Baltimore. Now it's the shortstop, Gunnar Henderson. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Kirilov in position. And out number one on the grab. The batter, the catcher, Adler. Adley Rutschman, the next to hit, one for two. Swing and a miss as he chases that oh, one darting out of the zone. Oh, Next pitch is outside. One down, base is empty. And a count one and two. Now 
called missed. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. So two down now, and here is Anthony Santander. Oh, he doesn't get the call, and that's ball one. Two down, nobody on. That's a little bit low. When you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Kirilov in position. Brings it in for the third out. We played five full, tied at one aside. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the left fielder, Alex Kirilov. Rodriguez back to work. Slider misses outside. Slap the other way, foul. Liner stayed to first. That is bad as a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. He hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. Now a move being made at second base. Pinch running here, Willie Castro. Byron Buxton, the next twin up to hit. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. First pitch, not close. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So, Chris, how has that changed the way relievers approach these innings? Well, I don't think it's that much different from coming in to clean up someone else's mess. Definitely not ideal, but the best relievers welcome challenges like this. The pitch. This to third, and it's just foul. That was close. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Here in extra innings. Dives and kicks it on the infield. Got him. Nice play. And that may have saved a run. Third base would have to be so quick with their first step reactions. Hot shots like that. That's why they call it the hot corner. That's a perfect example, though. There's no way he gloves that one if he's not dialed in, anticipating something coming his way, staying on his toes every pitch. Really nice job to get back up, set himself, and make a strong throw across the diamond. Manuel Margot up to the plate. Just missed. pitch and that one is lifted in the air pulls it down and he makes the catch and that's the third out twins wind up stranding one still tied 1-1 one, one. now into the game Willie Castro he's in at shortstop So now here's the D.H. Ryan O'Hearn. Man at second, nobody out. And Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. Edge of the zone for a strike. And a count is 0-2. Yeah, I think part of that goes into it's just so hard to come up with hits. In today's game, starters, Lopez gets the swing and the miss. And one out now. 
Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. So next to hit for Baltimore, Ryan Mountcastle. First pitch misses. Count one and zero. The winning run on second base. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Throw comes in quickly, and the winning run at third now with only one gone. So they hold the runner at third, wanting to play it safe. Think that comes back to bite them? Boy, it's hard to say. That runner on second to start extras is critical, and you want to make sure you don't waste him. If they don't score this inning, there'll be some second guessing for sure. Jorge Mateo now came into the game as a pinch runner. This is his first trip to the plate in this one. Right through there for a strike. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Winning run at third, one down. Here in the bottom of the sixth. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Big pitch right here. He's gonna try to make a pitch that's gonna produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Kicks and fires. Julian to second. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Well, the second baseman made that one look easy. Great feed to the shortstop. Shortstop completes the play. They get out of a jam, and they end the inning. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Yenier Cano. And now for the Twins, Austin Martin. Look for him to hit behind the runner, perhaps shoot it to the right side. The pitch. Hey. And that's in for a strike. Move to second, and Margot yeah. back in. Righty delivers. There's the strike at the knees. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Next One pitch ball. misses way outside. Swing and a miss. And one gone. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. And next for Minnesota, Carlos Santana. And that one fouled off. And the righty deals. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. And it's second. Got him! Two gone now. Nice work there to get the strikeout, and that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this home crowd will be fired up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game.
Christian Vasquez the hitter. And strike one to the catcher. Two down, go ahead, run in scoring position here in the top half of inning number seven. And that one goes straight to the backstop. Margot up to third on the wild pitch. Have to be really sure you can make it safely to third when you're in scoring position and two outs. Got to get that run across. Very important. Does a nice job of reading it. Gets to third base now just 90 feet away. One, two now. <laughs> In the dirt. Wow, that's a great job behind the dish there. Two down. Go ahead, run at scoring position. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Two outs. And another ball. The pitch. In the air, left field. Kowser on the move. Makes the grab. And that's the third out. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Bottom of the seven. Now the left fielder, Colton Kowser. The left fielder. And the pitch misses inside. Ball one. He's trying for third. Pitching for a strike. Go to third. He's safe. I'd say an aggressive roll of the dice there to steal third in this spot, but they felt good about it, and it worked out. Now the game plan changes a little bit at the play to get that go-ahead run home. The defense might pull the infield in. And now a bunt, but it's a foul ball. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Here it comes. Stays alive. Pitch misses. Ball two. And that one is inside. Jordan Westberg in the on deck circle. 